Hey, welcome everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, playing baseball at 3 a.m. We got a little game going here between the 1980 Athletics and the 1980 California Angels. It's all tied up at 3 3. In the sixth, it's Langford versus Bruce Keeson. Let's take a quick look at the lineups. Let's play ball. All right, Wayne Gross. He today he's one for two with a run scored. And he that's line base hit for Gross. He's on with a single. Second hit of the day for Gross. He's not at first. He's a slow runner, so he's not going to take that extra base. And it's a sixteen. That's strike three on Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell Page. He goes down on strikes. Now let's get rid of that with a quick whiteout. Just put it in the wrong spot. Watch my other videos uh, using Fall Classic Baseball. This is, game is a blast. It has about over 100 seasons. You can get a PDF for 20 bucks. You can try it out for, for free, actually. It'll give you two free teams. So that you know that's a company that has confidence in their game. Uh, here's Tony Armas. He's got good power, and that's going to be hit hard up the middle and through for a single. Let's see where Gross gets to. He will hold. At second, so we got first and second with one out. So got a little something going here for the Athletics in a 3-3 game at the top of the sixth inning. Now Keeson can go 28. He's gone 18 um, and seven and six is 24. All right. So here goes Jeff Newman with runners on first and second. Here's the pitch to Newman. That's going to be a 45. It's an out and 19 is a fly ball to right field. First and second, let's see if there's any advance on that. Uh, F or A may risk on a one, but we got a five there in the second die. So we're not going to try. Well, there's, there's, we can't do anything. All right, so Pichillo, just not deep enough. And here's Pichillo with two out and two on. Pitch from Keeson, and that's a 32. A 32 is a blank, and a 32 will be a drive down the line. And fair ball kicks up some chalk dust. One run will score. So the A's have taken a lead, and uh, a WA arm to left field. What kind of arm is in left field? Who's out there in left field? It is Rudy, and Rudy has a an A arm. But it says, you can see this here, A arm. All will we'll move two bases. Uh, okay, so they're going to hold. That's weird. Um, so it basically says uh, all score. All score with two outs. All right, so both runs are going to come in. It is a five to three ball game on a clutch. Clutch double, which was really hard because if you look at the card, it's a 32 is a blank, and then you look at 32 here, and it's going to be a 1 2 double on 32, and we have it to roll a 1. So that's two RBIs uh, for uh, batter 4 and batter 6 come in to score, and the A's have taken a two-run lead in the top of the sixth inning. All right, here comes Jeff Cox. Cox is 0 for 2. He's ground out, flat out. Oop. There we go. And that's a 55, and that is laced for a base hit. Will the run score on this? Uh, uh, oh, we got a chance for an assist to left field. Left fielder Rudy is a 3, so 1 to 3, and he is out, and he is safe. So RBI single for Cox, and then Cox is going to get a chance to steal, and he's out at second base. That's a 2-4 caught stealing. And that retires aside, but not before the A's pick up three runs, and they take a 6-3 lead here in the top of the sixth inning. Let's see, you know, um, 
Langford is a guy that's not pitching as well as I would have liked. One of my favorite players, and he's kind of struggled a little bit. He got off to a an okay start, and but in the last, I'd say, six or seven or eight starts, he's struggled. So he got off to a rough uh, start in this game. By the third inning, he had given up three runs already. Uh, but then he settled down for a couple of innings. So let's see how he does here in the sixth. We want to see if we can get through the game. He did have 28 complete games, but the way he's pitching, I don't see that he's going to be able to do that. Here's Joe Rudy. That's a, a snake eyes, which is a ground ball to the third uh, shortstop. And that is Pichelo throws him out. Here's Bobby Gritch. Gritch today is one for two with a single and a run scored. And that's going to be, oh, that's a base hit. And Gritch is going to dig for second. Here is the throw from center field. And he is at second base. He is safe with a double. One out double for Bobby Gritch. Hit it in the gap and was able to hustle it into a double. And here's Bert Campanaris. Here's the pitch from Langford. And a 51 is going to be a KD check, which fails. It's a one. We needed a one. We didn't get it. So now we're going to roll for the error. 51 is a first baseman error. And who's at first base? It is Revering. And that will be an error on Revering. It's going to be an exotic error. So that means it's going to get ugly. Let's take a look at the exotic error chart. First base. And we're going to use that. Uh, we're going to use that five. Um, first base. Let's see. We're going to use that five. Oh, refer to the base situation. There was a runner on second. All right. First base and really bad throw from the first baseman. Pitcher covering. Runner scores. Batter to second. F batter to third. And I believe Campanaris will make it to third base on this. Oh, but thrown out if the right field is a strong arm. And no, he's an average arm. So it's going to be a throwing error by Revering. And that will allow the run to score. So that's E3. And then on the same E3, the runner will, if he's fast, Bird Campanaris is fast, will make it all the way to third. So one out. Now it's uh, six to four now. And the the fifth run is at third base with only one out. We're going to play the infield in for Donahue. Here's a pitch from Langford. That's a 61. It's a blank. And an eight is a fly ball to center. But this is probably, let me see, it's uh, runner on third. F can risk it. No, eight, no. Uh, runner holes, F can risk it. And... Um, F can risk it. You know what? We are going to play it safe on this. Um, let me look for the risk. Uh, let me see the risk rules just to. For a statement below, but the runner, okay. Uh, S arm one to five. So it's center field. He is an A arm, so it would be one to three safe. It would be like a 50 50 chance on this fly ball to center field. Um, let's try it. Here goes one to three, he's safe. Oh, he's out. And he is out. So it's an eight. So it's a double play. Eight to two, and uh, that's one run on one hit and an error. And we move to the top of the seventh inning. Tough one. All right, and let's continue. Ricky Henderson now leading off top of the seventh with a 51. That's going to be a check, and Keeson on a three. Nope, fails that. And that, I think, is going to be an error. It says uh, first base. And first baseman for the 
Angels is Carew. Carew is a six, and that will qualify. And then, uh, yeah, let's roll that. Let's see what happens. There's nobody on base. So that doesn't really matter. Uh, that doesn't really matter on the exotic error chart. So no, uh, base is empty. Real bad throw by the first baseman. Deja vu all over again. And batter F scores if right fielder muffs the ball. Okay, uh, ball goes down the line. Pitcher misses it. Ball goes down the line to right field. Batter to third. F runner scores if the if right fielder muffs it. Roll D20 versus the right fielder's error rating. In right field, who we got? We got Don Baylor. Baylor's error rating in right field is a 15. And Baylor makes an error and runs scores. Wow. All right. So two errors on the play. One error by the first baseman and another error by the right fielder. And a run scores here. So two errors on one play. And um, all right, next batter is going to be Murphy. And it's a 15, which is a fly ball. Over is the right fielder, Baylor, and makes the catch. Here's Dave Revering, who's one for three today. It's a 46 and a seven, and a seven will be a roll again, foul ball. And it's a 33, and that is line for base hit to right. So it's a one out single for Revering, and on 33, does he get a plus sign? No, because that tells me he tries to steal. Here's Wayne Gross, he's a pitch from Keeson. Now Keeson's gone 27, oh, 28, 29, 30, so he is out for four. So he's, he's gotten to the, his endurance limit. And uh, we're going to bring in Mark Clear here. All right. And Clear is going to be, we're going to roll. He has B stuff today. All right, Clear versus Wing Gross. Let's do it. And that's a 12, and a 12 is an out, and that's a fly to center for out number two. So Gross gives it a ride, but the center fielder runs it down, and two out, one on. And here's Mitchell Page. Mitchell Page with a 22, and that will be a fly line drive in the gap. And right fielder Baylor comes up with a great catch by Don Baylor in right field, something you don't see very often, not, not, not a great outfielder. All right, so that's going to be one run on the one hit, but scored because of an error. And uh, we move to the bottom of the seventh. The Langford versus uh, Harlow. Should be Harlow. And that's a 55, and that's going to be lined for base hit. Center field played on a hop by Murphy. So Harlow's on. And here's Carney Lansford with a 26. 26 against the lefty is a single. Otherwise, it is a ground ball to the shortstop. And they won't get him at second base. So he's going to throw to first instead. So it's going to be a 6 3 runner advances. All right, Rod Carew with a runner at second. There's a pitch from Lankford, and that's a 16, which is an out, kind of an out. It's a line out to the shortstop, L6. That's two out, and here's Don Baylor. Not a very good hitter, but probably get a hit here, and he will. Will this drive in a run? Uh, yes, it will. So we get the, the, get the run back, so it's an RBI single from Baylor, and he's on it first. And here's Jason Thompson. Thompson has a home run today, but here he's going to strike out to end the inning. 
but they pick up an earned uh, an earned run here. One run on two hits, and we go to the top of the eighth inning. Tony Armas is up. Clear to Armas. Here's a pitch, and that is a snake eyes, which is a one to eight single. But we roll the nine, so that's going to be a fly to our. Uh, well, actually, I'm supposed to roll that again because I used it already, and it's a ground ball to the third baseman. One away. Here's Jeff Newman. And oh, a 66, and that's a deep drive off the bat of Newman. He's got a home run already, and this is way back to right center field. Back goes the left uh, left center field. Back goes Rudy to the track, to the wall, and that's out of here. Second home run of the day for Jeff Newman. And right now, the score is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. 8 to 4, I believe. No, it's 8 to 5. And it's Rob Pichlo. It's a 54. We're going to check the 54 chart. And that says, check error rating, a 7 to left field. Left fielder Rudy's error rating is a 3. So that's a running catch in the corner by Rudy. F7. And here's Cox. Jeff Cox, so far, he's 1 for, one for 3. I think he had an RBI. He did have an RBI. He just didn't write it down. But then he was caught stealing on that. And here he's got a 13, which will be an out. That's a bounce at a second. Easy play for Gritch, who, who gets Cox. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. But the A's pick up a run on the solo shot by Jeff Newman. And uh, it's going to be Joe Rudy leading off here against Langford. Here's a pitch, and that is going to be a 45, which will be an out, and that'll be line to right. Right fielder Armas is right there. Bobby Gritch is next. Gritch is two for three today. A couple of runs scored, but this is going to be a strikeout. That's his. Uh, that's Langford's fourth of the day. And um, two outs, and here's Bird Campaneris. Campy's 0 for 3, reached on an error. Actually, we got two errors. Two of both teams have errors. And that's a 42. 42, I believe, will be a base on balls, and it is. So Campy is on on a walk. Two out walk to Campaneris, and here's Donahue. Not Phil. That's a 34, and that will be a base hit. And runner will. Go to third on this. So we got first and third, and we're going to go to the bullpen here. He's already reached his limit, and he's just not pitching well at this point. So we'll see if we can get out of this. Harlow's a lefty, so we're going to bring in Lacey. Lacey's our main guy, Bob Lacey. And Lacey's going to be, what's he going to be? down what clear was uh, I don't even know if I check 17 so Lacey will be a C pitcher a B pitcher because he's a lefty and clear I don't know that I rolled for clear and he will be a B pitcher all right so both B's and it's gonna be Harlow here this is a big situation because uh, it's eight to five there's a couple of runners on Two outs, and Harlow at the plate is the tying run. Here goes. Pitch from Bob Lacey, and that's a 13, which will be an out. And that will be grounded to the first baseman to end the inning. So no runs on one hit, and we move to the top of the ninth. Ricky Henderson is leading off. Clear has gone six, so he's still good. He can go 11. This is 1980, so relievers went a little bit farther than what we know them to do today. And here's Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson with a 21, and that will be a uh, that one will be a pop up to first base. And Carew under it makes the catch. Here's Murph Murphy, and it's a 54 chart. It's going to say. Base is empty, fly ball to right. Check the error rating. Seven, right field, who's in right field? That's Baylor, he's gonna make another error. 
And then we gotta go to exotic. Exotic area chart for Baylor for the right fielder. And that will be outfield. We got a seven. And it's gonna be a single plus an error. So it drops in in front of Baylor and Baylor bobbles it. And making a move to second is gonna be Murphy because of the bobble. So it's gonna be a single and an error. That's another error there. The second error of today on Baylor, I believe. And the third error for California as a team. So Murphy's on at second. Here's Dave Revering. And that's a 45, which will be an out, a 10, which will be a line out to right. And here goes uh, Wayne Gross. Wayne Gross with a 46 and 11 on a 46 will be a pop-up to third base. Lansford, Carney is right there. No runs, one hit. That ends the inning. No runs, one hit, one left. And we move to the bottom of the inning, bottom of the ninth. It's going to be Lansford, Carew, and Baylor. The A's are up 8-5. to five. Here's a pitch to Carney Lansford. 24, and that will be a fly to center. Hit well struck line out to the center field. One away. Here's Rod Carew. Rod Carew today has got three hits. He's three for four. And a 26 will be, nope, it won't be another one. It's going to be a pop up middle of the infield to the shortstop. Pichillo calls for it. Two away. So the A's, the Angels are down to their last out. There's a pitch, and that is a 51. That's going to be a KD check. The 18 fails. KD would need to be a 1-3. to three. So we're going to roll for the error, and as long as it's high, ooh, that may be an error. Shortstop. Pichillo. Pichillo's error rating is a 4. So Pichillo gets there. Throw to first. Low, scooped out by Revering, and that's the ball game. So the A's pull it out, even though Langford struggled a bit. Final score is eight to five. How many hits? One there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve hits for the A's and two errors. For the Angels, they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 11 hits for the Angels and three errors. So, so eight runs, 12 hits, two errors for the A's, five runs, 11 hits, three errors for the Angels. Rick Langford is going to get the win. Lacey will pick up a save. The loss here is going to go to Keeson, Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, Fall Classic Baseball. Take care.